recording. Okay, this is a, I guess we'd call this a non-scheduled, non-normal schedule meeting of the uh, uh, Airport <clears throat> Development and Operating Committee. And the, the, the objective of this meeting being off schedule uh, is to concentrate on the upcoming uh, airport appreciation days uh, on the 24th. That's going to be the main focus <clears throat> of the meeting today. Um, uh, let's, uh, it, yeah, time, it's um, it's Thursday, August 8th. It's 11.30 a.m. and we are in the Ocean Shores Public Library. We also have attendees on Zoom. Uh, let's have a roll call. Uh, Bill Capron. Leave, he's absent. Jerry Divis. Here. Jerry's here. Uh, Ron, Ron DeVore. Here. Ron is here. Stuart Green. No. Okay, and we have guests today. We have um, uh, Mike, Mike Mandela from the fire department. And we also have uh, a couple of people from the RC Flyers. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves, please? Um, John Berkey. John? Yeah. Vice President. Okay. He's our Vice President. I'm Jeff Belfer. I'm the Secretary and the Safety Officer. Okay. And our president is on his way, hopefully soon. All right. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we have copies of the meeting agenda, uh, approval of the agenda. So I'll give a, uh, give, give a motion there, Ron. I move to approve the agenda. Second, <coughs> all of you. Aye. 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 Okay. Agenda is approved. <clears throat> Sorry. That's oh, all right. You'll need to introduce yourself. Yeah, we just did introduce uh, introductions. I'm Craig. Craig. Harold. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, you're the president of the RC Flyers? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, take a seat. And here I've got, uh... oh, you got one. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, old business. I don't think we have any old business. Um, nothing that is urgent enough to bring up at this meeting. So let's get into the new business. And to do that, we're going to be following our, uh, if you look at the handout, we have a number of items uh, on this handout. There's the safety plan. Uh, there's the map and on page uh, four. There is the list of actions that we've been following. So we will, <clears throat> for the rest of the meeting, basically, we're going to go down through this list of actions and just uh, make, you know, bring ourselves up to date on what's been done and uh, what remains to be done. So why don't we um, kind of take things a little bit out of schedule here, out of the, the, the normal sequence here, since we've got the RC Flyers uh, representatives and... Um, Let's jump down to them. Let's see, there you are. Item number 21. Um, first, thank you guys for coming. We appreciate the offer. But yeah, thank you yeah. for having us. And um, just to give you a, a quick up to speed here, we've been meeting on this for, oh gosh, a couple of months now and uh, trying to put some order and some, uh, some rationality into this thing. So, you know, you, you can keep those, of course, but if you go down the list there, you can kind of get a feel for who else is going to be there, a lot of cars, maybe some skydiving. Um, and you guys are going to be uh, uh, one of the uh, major participants. So um, just to open up for discussion for you guys to find out what you guys are going to need, uh, let's take a look at the, I guess we can start there. Um, but, uh, and so I guess we're going to have to discuss your uh, location, how much space you're going to need, uh, what sort of a time slot you'd like to have. Um, so, you know, take it away. What, what do you think? Uh, you notice on the map there, you're in green, that little green box. Is that for our, for our cars to park? Or is that what that's for? Because um, we need well, our... I figured well, that you guys would have... Set up? Yeah. Uh, you'd have a row of... Um, Tables? Yeah, tables for for holding your airplanes, the stands that the airplanes go in, uh, all of the preparatory work. Um, 
Yeah, we work out of our vehicles mostly, though. What we can do, okay? What we can do is because you uh, the public gets there at ten o'clock. Is that yeah. what I saw? Okay, yeah. so at nine o'clock, I guess we can start and kind of fix our area. I think they want us right here. Um, Keep in mind everything you see on this map here. I just put it all in there as placeholders. If you guys need more space, then then we could do that. Uh, I you notice that you've got um, your own runway right. right there, that green strip. I figured you'd probably need a, I don't know a that, that's about 150 feet long. Okay. We probably we need some more. This where it says helicopter landing. We probably need to incorporate more of that. Well, here's so. Yeah, I'm all turned around. The entrance is right here. This, this is the road. Yeah, this is the club. Oh, there's the north, club. North is to the left. This, oh, this gotcha. Okay. Lot, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Okay, so the helicopter for the parish. I'm assuming the the. the <clears throat> yeah, if we yeah. have Life Flight and Air Northwest show up, mm -hmm. it's possible we could have two choppers sitting in that area. So okay. the very first thing that comes up is that your runway there is like a gun barrel pointing at them. Correct. Yeah. Right. So, um, you know, we, we may have to put your uh, your runway out on the taxiway uh, okay. so you're, you're clear of that. I'm glad you said that because I was... Meaning yeah. some of that, depending on okay. who and what flies. Um, it's yeah. Only, you know. There's, it was only after I'd done this that I realized, you know, we don't want those things crashing into the hell. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be expensive. Well, yeah. yeah. And some of I have, I have one that's, that's pretty large and okay. takes a little bit more room to land than some of the other. Um, also, a gentleman that's going to be flying, he's going to have his jet and that takes a little bit of room. So if we can use that taxiway, that's perfect. Okay, the, so I'll run, I'll put your uh, runway out on the taxiway. And oh, regarding, um, you notice that you guys, I know. that that runway is uh, on the, it's on the danger side of the cone line. Yes, it is. Forbidden so, for us to fly it's, out there. It's, we're not supposed to fly on that taxiway. It's against all. our regulations like to the, fly out there. For AMA rules. For AMA rules. So that's part of the problem. But I don't know. We can... you're, you're now run that by me again. Your okay, so modeling association rules. Yeah, can't yeah. be in, on any runways, taxiways, any active type of structure like that. Yeah. So we're where we normally land is where we're parking the planes, and so even if there's a plane parked there, we can go around it because there's a little bit more room on that tarmac. The tie downs, the tie down selections are actually closer to this yellow line. Yeah. So if we had this whole section here, we would be perfectly fine. Okay. Let me we jump in for a minute, Rich. What's that? Let me jump in real quick. For sure, yeah, please do. Uh, oh, my first question would be, uh, you still can't use any active areas even in, even during a notum? Oh, I don't know. That That's a I question can't I can't answer, but... Even if the airspace is closed. If it's closed, I'm sure it's probably not a problem. Yeah. Okay. The reason I think that's important to know is because with the helicopter landing area, they have not yet decided if they're coming or not. Uh, they wanted to get to this first, but I yeah. couldn't give them this until we had this meeting. So I'll, I'll get this to them today. Both of those agencies have other PR events to go to. They're looking for a time slot. But when I look at the, when I look at the time, They'll essentially not want to be here between 11:30 and 2, because if they have to then take off for an emergency, yeah. and they're parked where and and they're parked here and the RC runway is here, that's going to be problematic. Well, we can we can bring them down quickly if someone has to leave. Well, we, we can get them on the ground, and they have to spool up. It takes them a couple of minutes. Right, we can land yeah. within less than a minute. All right, so, so they, we're, we're there, and they, this can't be any smaller for the helicopter landing area because uh, life flight needs 100 by 100, yeah. and airlift needs 60 by 60. And then uh, uh, life flight's coming in with skids, yeah. uh, so that's a bit of a challenge as opposed to airlift's got wheels, yeah. and so they could taxi. <clears throat> so that complicates this a little bit, but again, this all might be for moot, what I'm saying, is because if they can't find the right window, now that we're going to eliminate 1130 to 2 o'clock, potentially, uh, and given their other commitments they have for that day, 
They were going to do their best to come over, show off the helicopter. They can't stay very long. Um, and, the, and the main point, one of the main points, besides really cool to see a helicopter, right? But one of the main things that was going to be accomplished by both of those air ambulance agency was to set up a little bit of a table and give out um, applications to, to buy their insurance plans, which is a really good idea for anybody over a certain age, especially living out in this kind of vicinity where you're very far away from Harborview if you need, if you've got multi-system trauma. And so um, purchasing that insurance was one of my main goals to get them out here. If Life Flight can't make it out, then they're going to give me the flyers. And I'll just go walking around handing them out. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, it does. Uh, but once you've given this map, um, I mean, after today's meeting, I'll finalize this map. I should have a we final copy as it goes on. Get out get out there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but if they show up, then back to what I was talking about a minute ago, uh, we could put the RC runway out on the taxiway. Yeah. Uh, if we close the airfield by no time, that would be fine. Uh, for yeah. a particular time window, that would be fine. That would be perfect. We're flexible. I mean, if, if as the time arrives when we we get there, life flight whatever shows up, we can either go where you have us mapped, or we can go out onto the taxi. We either one that way. Yeah, yeah. And there'll be right. <laughs> there'll be two, three, four people wandering around with the safety vets on and the two-way radios. Um, hey, Jerry. Yeah. Were you the, you were you the guy in charge of the uh, two way radios for the um, uh, on the airport frequency? I have one uh, radio we can use. Yes. Okay, just one. Yes. I mean, one's enough, but two would be better. Yeah. What, what are you, we're talking about a radio that can transmit and receive on the um, on the airport frequency. Which is, oh, by the way, you have that wrong in here. It's 122.9, not 122.8. The airport frequency yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's it's, it's 122.8 in here. Eight in here? Yeah. Okay, we'll make that correction. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have, we have receivers. We don't have, we can't transmit. So as long as you have one with the transmit. Yeah. Because for us to go up, we have to, it's safety for us and safety for any airplane coming in. If we have that frequency on, we can hear them. And once we hear them, we land. Yeah. As far as the FAA and the AMA are concerned, they say we have to be below 100 feet if a plane's coming in. Well, for us here in Ocean Shores, we land. We get that plane out of the air. That way there's no interference or safety issue. Yeah, okay. Well, well, we'll have a transmit capability as well. Uh, so, you know, even though uh, we'll issue a NOTAM, we'll close for a certain uh, time window, um, you, you've got to assume there's going to be pilots out there that they don't read the NOTAMs. They're going to come barreling in anyway. Oh, yeah. So that's why Jerry's radio will be, uh, <clears throat> will be useful to, yeah. uh, to let everybody know. Because, you know, they, they self-announce to say, you know, they're five miles out, they're inbound. They should. Usually, yeah, well, before, not always. Before we go up, we I have only take flight aware on our phones, too. Yeah, we have the the aircraft in the air, as long as their transponder is on. It, so we've had people yeah. land that didn't radio in and didn't have their transponder. Oh, <laughs> and so it's like, I'm not guilty of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that way, okay, well, and... You know, people forget, or they, or they're on the wrong frequency. Mm -hmm. They're actually transmitting, and they're talking to somebody. And I forgot where he was talking to. I think Bremerton. You know, and so, you know, there's that. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about um, the um, uh, location of your setup here. The little green box that you see on the map there. You notice that just to the right of that. Uh, is the uh, police and fire displays. I figure that, uh, you know, fire department is going to have uh, a couple of their vehicles there. Is that is that right, Mike? Uh, one, but he'll be in service. So if he has to leave for an emergency, he has to leave. Yeah, which is why I put you guys there. So it's straight out the gate. Okay, so that blue box there um, is pretty much set in stone, although it might shift over to the right uh, a little bit. Is PD aware and have they committed to any vehicles? Don't know. Don't 
Did you get yes, a hold they of? have. They have. Yes. Yep. They okay. were. They were at the beginning. Are they going to bring the dare vehicle? I think the dare vehicle, and then they'll probably do something like the two officers on duties vehicles, and same will go for them. If there's an emergency, they're going to have to leave. Okay. Perfect. All right, do you think that green box there uh, would be enough? If you guys lined up your vehicles in a north-south axis, you'd get probably, I don't know, five of them? That's plenty, that's all that's we use. Really, yeah. That's all we have flying norm normally anyway. Okay. <clears throat> and it's uh, right next to the cone line, so you know, you carry your moms, put them down on the other side of the cone line, fire them up, and off you go. We also have a orange construction barrier that's the flight box. Yeah. It's a flight box. So whoever's flying has to stand in that flight box and it's to keep other people from walking into the zone. That makes sense. So we can place that on the other side of that cone line. Okay. And it's removable. Is it, yeah, is it's it in the pilot lounge right okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Key. So you guys will be um <clears throat> right there where the red box where it actually says cone line. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah. That's where you You'd set up, you'd start the airplane. To be act, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we can leave your green box pretty much where it is. Um, police and fire, I'll move that one slightly to the right. Did you say that north? Was, uh, <laughs> is north? North is to the left. As I'm looking at the it, which, direct, which way the we're in our page, landscape or portrait? Oh, I've got this. Uh, lines. These lines. Yeah. North is yeah. the pattern you're supposed to. North is to the left on this yeah. map. When I'm those lines. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm going to add. On this side goes that way. To the the yeah, that'd be, that'd be this way, way, not over here. That's why people should fly in and look at the windsock and pay yeah. attention to this stuff. You know, thank you. I learned something new. Okay, uh, so we've got your geography pretty well figured out. We know where the runway is going to be. We know we're going to need a note to him. So let's talk about time. Um, as far it's as kind of nice to have you guys, uh, you know, you're going to need a separate time. Maybe uh, I'll just throw something out here. Uh, maybe um, 45 minutes in the morning, 45 minutes in the afternoon, two windows. What do you think? Okay. Um, it, again, it depends on how strong the wind is. Yeah. If it's windy, think, we can't fly at all. Yeah. So if it's, if it's 15 miles an hour and it's just coming off the bay, we can do it. No. It's he can't. I'm not gonna. Can, right. So we could do it. It's just not not as safe as you'd want. However, if it's 10 miles an hour or less, five. Oh, no, because then we'll never fly. You're talking about wind or crosswind? Crosswind. Crosswind. That crosswind. crosswind. Just like it it took that one plane, right? We have the same problem, only ours are one six scale, so the wind affects it a little bit more. Not to mention expenses. Yeah. So um, my thought is the earlier, the better. So at 10 o'clock, if we can have 45 minutes right at 10 as people are walking in, okay. would, would be better. Yeah, before the wind picks up. Yeah, we always try to fly up. in the morning because of the winds. It's usually less windy in the morning. I just came off of... we. I just went flying and we were teaching my grandson how to fly out there. And so we just came in um, and it wasn't bad, but it was gusty. Mm -hmm. And so, but you flew without anything. You did awesome. Anyway. Okay, so 45 minutes starting at uh, 10. Then at 10. <clears throat> and then we could, depending on the wind, you know, you, we could try the afternoon. Typically, the afternoon is windier. Yeah. That's why we always go in the morning to fly. Yeah. I'm just wondering if 10, <clears throat> excuse me, 1030 might be, well, no, then you're right, 10 o'clock, uh, well, that's when people would start arriving. Right. I mean, we can. Uh, We're flexible. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact times for us. Yeah, it does. We'll work around whatever works best for everyone else. Yeah. Yeah, but I have to, I have to put specific time in with no 10. Oh, gotcha. Guy, oh, because we're so, you know, yeah. that's that, that's got to be set. Well, okay. That's it. You're fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
You're welcome. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna look at. The, um, let me look at the weather patterns here. I'm gonna only go out as far as Thursday. Yeah, we're three weeks away. Yeah. Well, so remember, we had the best flight at the end of August anyway last year. That was the only time we got. Um, so it's it's talking about two mile an hour with five mile an hour gusts. Now that's out to the twenty second. You can't predict this for a while. Yeah. No, we're just no, it could be anything. anything. There's no way. It's three yeah. hours. Yeah. yeah. Today. Oh, so. Figure out a time slot that works best for you all. Yeah, you call and it. We'll we just make it. We'll just do it. Yeah. We can display. Um, what, uh, Mike? What was it that uh, Life Flight said about uh, their time periods? Uh, they won't give me a time period till I give them the layout, and then tell them the times that they shouldn't be taking off or landing anyway. We wouldn't want them landing in the middle of flight operations for the RC flyers. No, but like you know, these guys can shut down under the next notice. Yeah, yeah. we can land quickly. If and uh, if you can notify us that they're in route, we can get down no problem. I mean, the moment you hear a chopper bang, they just yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much how we'd even do with the planes. Yeah, we'll usually hear them most of the time. Yeah, we'll hear them coming for sure. Yeah, exactly. So what's the implication? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, wind direction. Because they're going to be wanting to land into the wind, obviously, right? Yeah. So, but depending on the wind and the wind speed, if they have to come around on base or you know short final or whatever, and they have to come around, does it make a difference to you, or you just shut down no matter what because they're coming in? And we shut yeah, down on pretty much. Yeah, you any aircraft much. coming into the airport, we shut yeah. down immediately. Yeah, I don't want to. And if they were static, and they need to take off. It's pretty easy for us to. Yeah. We'll even know before they actually. Yeah, you'll see them run into that. Yeah, when they. Right. Well, somebody will. Yeah, before they even pull yeah, up, we'll yeah, probably okay. always be longer. All right, so why don't we give you a forty-five minute window, or would an hour be better? Whatever works for you guys. Works for you. Works for you. It's just it. Okay. Well, we got we got our batteries last anywhere from five to seven minutes, depending on how we're flying. So um, I don't know and. If, if you're in our position, it's stressful enough because we're trying to get things going, right? And so we do things, and if we're bombing around, our flight times are shorter. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, I don't know, five minutes between we get somebody down and then somebody. Well, if we give you an hour. We'll try to, to get that closer together if we can. <laughs> okay. yeah, well, we need to get people getting ready in a row. I'm sorry, go ahead. So we give you an hour starting at 10 o'clock and then another hour, say, starting at 1 o'clock. Um, I mean, it's not like you're going to be flying the whole hour. Yes. Yeah. You need to be coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down. It's yeah. Kind of random. Um, but within those two windows. Perfect. Because um, i got to put something in the note here. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fine. So the two windows, one at 10, one at 1. Yeah. We're grateful to be included, so we'll work around whatever you need. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do uh, 10 o'clock uh, and 1 o'clock. That works. So is this tentative on the schedule that skydiving is one to two? As far as I know right now, that's that's still tentative. I haven't gotten a, a total confirmation uh, from them. I have asked for a, a time frame they would like to do this, uh, and I haven't gotten a reply back. So I'm going to have to reach out to them again. Okay. Well, if they don't show it, that's good for them. Questions? Keep well, I think, um, I think okay. Richard, you're going to have to give like a, this is it by this date, because we kind of keep waiting to hear back. Like we're, we were waiting to hear back from the airlift. Now we're waiting to hear back from skydiving. Like if we don't hear anything by a certain date, because it's kind of holding a lot of things up, it's holding up how you're going to submit the safety deal for the mapping if certain people are going to be doing things, um, I, I would just pick a date since we're so close now. If we don't have confirmation by then, they're they're out. What do you think, Jerry? Can you get a hold of the uh, Toledo people and find out um, exactly when? I will uh, get a hold of them, yeah. And they're going to be using our airport weekend after next. They're going to be doing some jumping on the beach with the just kind of their private uh, uh, event thing for them. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so Mike, to answer your question, the skydiving from one to two, um, if there's a morning fog, it should have burned off by then. <clears throat> so Jerry, can we, uh, uh, can we get that slot nailed down, one to two, for the skydivers? I will uh, give it a try, you bet. Okay, and uh, yeah, Sarah, the, um, regarding a date to have this done so that we can uh, finalize all of this stuff, uh, I don't know, how about um, Wednesday of this next week? That'll give us time uh, to uh, get the NOTAM out with, with accuracy. Uh, <clears throat> and to get the flyers distributed uh, regionally. Yeah, Stuart. Um, okay, so you said the skydivers one to two, you told them what to climb. Did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, I did. Whatever they want, that's great. Um, let's pull you guys back to uh, noon, noon to one. Fine. So we got the, sky, the skydivers one to two. Okay. One. So you're yeah. talking 10, 10 to 11. 10 to 11. Okay, perfect. Yeah, whatever works for you. Seriously. Like I said, we're grateful to be involved. So whatever works for you. Another question. The skydivers, are they in charge? Are the skydivers charging? Sure. Are the skydivers charging for this? No. <laughs> no. No, what 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 I've gotten uh, when I talked to them is is that I got a verbal that it it, it looked like they would come and uh, enjoy our appreciation day uh, with us. I have not uh, uh, gotten the confirmation yet on time as I had requested, or uh, or even that they're coming. So I've I've put I've I've had a couple communications uh, via email. Uh, but I, I'll give a call. They only answer their phone on on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think that's their <laughs> their play day. Okay. Um, if it should come out that they want a fee for doing this, and in the past we've approached them before, and they've wanted five hundred dollars to do it, uh, you know, for gas and whatnot. The if it comes out that they do want something like that, where would the money come from, Sarah? I absolutely could not answer that because it depends on what they're going to try and charge. Well, if they, wanted could... 500, if they wanted 500 bucks for gas. I don't, I have no idea. I don't know that. I don't know that we we're going to we have like two thousand dollars spending money. We're buying uh, banners. We're buying signs. We're making flyers. These kinds of things. We're two weeks away. So for them to come back and say now this is our fee, I I think we'd probably have to decline them at that point. I I would agree. I, yeah, I don't I, we, we haven't agree. heard anything about a fee from anybody. Everybody's been in communication. Uh, Jerry's even got a impromptu okay. So I'm going to say that if they wanted $500, they would have said it at that time. If they say it now, we'd probably just decline their attendance in that capacity. I would say if it's free, it's for me. If yeah. It's free, we ain't doing it. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, okay. uh -oh. We're already a little bit uh, on the edge. All right, well, I think we got the RC flyers uh, figured out here. <clears throat> well, I think the skydiving should go at the same time we go. That way we have something to... Some name. Target yeah, something to aim for, right? It's sort of evasive. Yeah, it does. You can evade. <laughs> we evade this. Somebody with a, with a measure Measures. I got a Corsair and a P-51. I mean, you know. No, I don't have any of that. Or, or, or a zero. You can shoot it. Uh, the guys there you go. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get back now to our <clears throat> our list of action items on page four. And you guys in the uh, uh, your parts supplier guys, if you want to leave this meeting, no, that's fine. All the rest of this is going to be 
uh, Monday parties and, and, and call and events and all, all the other no, I, We but, understand you just want to talk about us. It's okay. okay. <laughs> it's pretty boring. But... Okay. We well, appreciate it, guys. Thank no, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, guys. Thank you, you for inviting us. Thank you, guys, for coming. Uh, no, good point. What is it? It is uh, 360 591 Eight eight, eight eight three zero. Five nine one eight eight three zero. And that's Craig. An email in case. Oh, uh, well, Sarah's. You've got my email because I received that stuff from Sarah. Yeah. So if anything comes up, I'll leave your voicemail. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank, thank you, folks. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank you. All right, sir. Yes. Take care. I'm looking forward to seeing those models. Yeah, yeah, me too. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. That'd be the high point. That's great. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Take care. Okay, take it from the top. Item number one, Sarah, special event from it. I need this finalized safety plan. Okay. Uh, event safety plan. Let's take a look at that, which is page two. <clears throat> I wrote this from a position of um, kind of minimal information regarding uh, times and so forth. Has everybody had a chance to read this? Uh, any thoughts? Please? I have a few questions. Though. Okay. How is it, Mike? I want to give everybody a minute to read it if they have it. It only takes a minute to read the seven bullet points. But my first question is the first sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire department is going to assign people. And so uh, I don't have anybody to assign. As I said, we'll have an on-duty crew there with a with a rig, but they may have to leave. So it's probably not a good idea to have a safety person that might have to leave. So I'll, I'll, uh, we're in touch with Avert uh, and seeing if Avert will come. And they were planning on coming anyway. And I, I would like Avert used to be called CERT, Citizen Emergency Response Team. Okay. They help out a lot on a many kind of functions like this. Uh, and so I have a call out to them to see how many people they'll be with, there with, and if they could dedicate two or three people to be safety folks. What's the acronym for their, um, their organization? Uh, gosh, what does AVERT stand for, sir? Do you know? Well, it doesn't matter. What, what, oh. What's the letters? A-V-E-R-T. I guess the A is whatever, and then it's volunteer emergency response team. Okay. Uh, they taken the place of CERT, is that? Yeah, it, it's old CERT. Yeah, same thing. Exactly. Um, and so how many people do you think is necessary to be safety folks? Because... Uh, Jerry, are you going to be uh, are you going to be the guy with the <clears throat> with the radio? going to have one radio. So your external <laughs> dedications... I have a radio. I don't need to be the one with it, um, but I could be. Well, it'd probably be better if someone with your experience or somebody who's a flyer is that so they understand the terminology lingo if something goes up, goes awry from above. Okay, it's fine well, with I'm me. Gonna be there all day, Jerry. If you're going to be there, we could take turns with the radio. Um, okay. So I figure, you know, either you or I or both of us will have a, a safety vest on. So, uh, Mike, for your question, uh, I don't know, two people. Okay, and then um, I think Scott was going to get vests from Public Works. They're orange, right? That is correct. Okay. <laughs> so they'll be the orange vested people. Um, if that makes a difference, if that's in conflict with key point number two, or yellow vested safety volunteers, was that the intention? Just the wrong color. I just got the wrong color. Okay, so that'd be the okay. And, Orange. Yeah, and then, and they. I don't know if Avert has radios or not. I'll find out. They do, uh, Chief. They, do. they so, have their own. Yeah, so they'll just have their own communication amongst themselves, and then send a runner to talk to you or Jerry should the need arise to have you communicate on that one twenty two eight or whatever it is one twenty two nine. Yeah. Okay, and then. Uh, I, I didn't know there'd be a, there won't be a command table that I could think of. It'll probably be my pickup truck. That's fine. Although that puts me stationary and I, ne I probably need to be mobile to manage issues as they arise and assist you guys help, you know, with issues. 
So I don't know that we need a command table. What, what, what was you thinking about a command table, the purpose of, of which? Um, a, I, I really wasn't thinking of anything in particular. I just put it down there as a placeholder. Um, I, I, I think my, my thinking at the time was you guys would have, um, I don't know, command table, maybe, uh, Maybe one of the, uh, uh, the fire engines might, uh, might suffice for that. Again, if they have to leave, then the command table yeah. has to go, right? So, um, and nobody's staffing it. So, so central point of communication. So, um, <clears throat> actually, what we need. Anybody with an orange vest. Well, well that, actually, maybe to augment the safety plan, that would be a communication plan. Doesn't have to be a whole nother piece of paper that says, communication plan, but there ought to be a description of what the safety, uh, I'm sorry, what the communication plan is and how we communicate. We've already got 122.9 and we have Everett on another frequency. I don't have either of those, so I'll be on something else. And so it's starting to get complicated. So cell phone is probably the most likely and most efficient uh, opportunity that we have for communicating non-critical emergency, uh, non-critical non-emergency information amongst the safety volunteers and, your, and, and you and Jerry. Uh, and then it's small enough an area. I actually prefer face-to-face -face communication yeah. personally. So I'll probably be getting my 20,000 steps in. Uh, so if I want to talk to you, I'm just going to come and find you and talk to you. I'll put in uh, some text in here uh, specifically for communication. Right. <clears throat> um, yes. Okay. And, and it'll encompass item number three as well. Yeah. Um, all right. That'll take care of. So we're going to have two uh, avert volunteers in orange vests. Two or three. I'll be in a vest. Either of you guys, if you want to be, you know, showing up and put on the uh, yeah, the, the, the latest in snazzy sportswear. I want the green vest. You want the green one? Okay. So just to clarify, so point two, all yellow vet, or now orange vested safety volunteers are going to carry two way radio. And two or three of those will be avert people with their own radios. The next line is that. Yeah, hang on. The avert people have their own radios. Correct. Talk to, talk to, they can talk to each okay. other. How many of those do they have? Oh, it would be great if we're all on the same frequency. Well, they're, they're, they're not going to be on aviation frequency. They're going to be on their own little walking talking. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But um, how many? Yeah, there will only be. <clears throat> There'll only be one radio, Jerry's radio, that has transmit capability on 122.9. 122.9 or 228? 122.9. So let me suggest something for that. If if I have a half a dozen fire department portable radios, they won't have one. They won't have 122.9. Yeah. They won't have ever, right? But if you carry two radios, or you and Jerry, if whoever has the 1229, if they also had a loaner from the fire department that we're all on, and I, I can give them the advert and coordinate the frequency, then one person would have to have two. That would be the 1229, right? Now, if we have something, we all have the fire department frequency. We all talk. Yeah. And then the person with the one two two nine hears it too because he or she has that same frequency. Yeah. And then you can jump on the one two two nine on your own. Can you supply loaner right? I will get back to you uh, as soon as I get back to the firehouse. Sarah, you didn't happen to ever stumble across because the city used to have a radio, aviation band radio, handheld. You never stumbled across that. I haven't seen one or been told about one. Okay. Just... <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, I think that uh, that takes care of uh, communications then. Um, item four, the cone line. Um, primary folks and volunteers, spinning props on the east side, public on the other side. <clears throat> Any questions about that? Well... Yeah. Now, if any aircraft come in at some point, you want them to clear the taxiway and then shut down and and, and push into parking. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Come into the um, 
southeast corner of the apron, uh, which is on the east, east side of the cone line, shut down, and then um, <clears throat> use your towing fork uh, to pull the airplane over to a uh, tie down area, which could be a ways if it's at the end. Well, or I suppose if they are, um, you know, accompanied with a wing walker on both sides, they could taxi, depending on how many people are. We'll have to play that one by ear. Okay, so it's arriving aircraft must shut down east of the cone line. We'll play that one a little bit loose depending on the yeah. situation. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, part airplanes must be tied down for helicopter blast, obviously. Uh, public is not allowed east of the cone line or anywhere on or east of the taxiway. That's supposed to be on a leash. Have I missed anything? Besides phone numbers. What's the fire department phone number, Mike? No, uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, there's a million phone numbers. And so nobody will be there that, pardon, pardon my French, that gives a damn. Uh, unless there's an emergency, which we're then going to call 911. So my suggestion is to take my cell phone number. Okay. Three six zero. I'm oh, sorry. Two zero six five one eight two five nine four. When you call the fire station, it's like a hunt, and if there's nobody there, that's not going to get answered. Okay. <clears throat> and the police department. Well, presumably they're going to be there all day. So, but if not, um, do you know their number off the top of your head? No, again, I would think that that's going to be a cell phone number of somebody who might be there that could help. I don't, I'm not really sure. Otherwise, you could just go through me, and then I could get a hold of PD on a cell phone or on the radio. Yeah, we'll put two Sorry. numbers in there just, just in case. Um, Sarah, do you have, I mean, other than the... Um, public phone number for the police. Is there a number that we can put down here that might be a little bit more direct? Um, yeah, let me find the sergeant's office. Everything's a 360-940 and then our extension. So let me find one of the sergeants and it'll give us that. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so the times are going to change those. The uh, the RC flyers were going to be um, ten ten to eleven uh, and noon to one. Skydiving one to two, and maybe uh, we'll give this we'll give the RC flyers another half hour in the afternoon. And what kind of what kind of um, communication uh, would be necessary to coordinate as the skydiver folks come in and are approaching? Would they be on one two two nine? Everybody keeps saying one two two nine. I'm going to go back and say that. I'm just going to say one one twenty two eight. I thought hopefully, you know, I I tuned that in a hundred times. You think I know by now? And if you look at the airport information page, it says one twenty two eight. It's the one they got here. <laughs> Um, we got the the one two two nine came from uh, the RC flyer guys. I don't know if you can ever hear them talk. <laughs> <laughs> that answers that question. Richard, are you ready for the phone number? Yes. Uh, so this goes directly to the sergeant's office. It's three six zero nine four zero seven six four one. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm gonna. Put this frequency thing to bed here. Um, get an answer here in just a sec. <clears throat> Chief, what's the watch desk? You talking to me? Yeah. What's the watch desk? I, I have no idea. Um, 
Oh, do, uh, I, I think we have a watch desk number. I didn't two. know if there was a captain's office yeah. phone or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh. hit or miss when you. Captain's office, 360. This is for fire. This is to the captain's office, 360-940-7589. Yeah, the Ocean Shores CTAF frequency is 122.9. You're thinking, I hope we have 122.8. <clears throat> okay, so we need 122.9 to get into the bathroom to get the key to get into the. Okay. And the RC guys have 122.9, but they cannot transmit. That was my understanding. Well, they don't need to transmit, they just need to monitor. Exactly. If a manned aircraft is inbound, they, by their own rules and stuff, they have to clear the air. So to answer the question about the skydivers and uh, and how we will communicate with them, uh, that will be on the CTAF frequency, Common Traffic Advisory Frequency, 122.9. And that will be through Jerry's radio. Okay, uh, so the safety plan page, after we make the corrections for <clears throat> the AVERT volunteers, the orange vests, um, a little bit more specif specificity on the communications. Um, we've got some phone numbers to put in here and we make adjustments to the times. Can you think of anything else on a one page safety plan um, it should be there. Will there be alcohol being served there? No, right? Does it is does that need to be in here at all, Sarah? You know, it's a good point. Um, I would think alcohol absolutely. can't be served there because we did not. We would have needed to get a permit with um, the liquor control board to do and. Be yeah, but uh, garden something. I was kind of wondering, you know, you get a guy from New York City that comes with his own cooler. Gotta go. So, nope. so with this maybe the plan should say there's no alcohol. So at least if we see it, we can have it discontinued. Yeah, you know, with um, the in the proximity of airplanes, uh, alcohol. And it's it's yeah, it's a, it's a vote for both. And, yeah. But we're gonna have all manner of. Intellectual types <laughs> coming to this thing. I think it's 24 hours. <laughs> no, that, that's a good point, Mike. I'm going to add that um, as a specific item. And it's a CYA for us, too, I think, if that does occur. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder, uh, should we post this safety plan on the gate or something? No. Uh, we should do, so we have an event on social media, and then, of course, we'll do more advertising the week of on the website and things like that. Um, but we we need to do that. We need to post and, and where the things are going to be laid out. And so we can do all of that, but we also have, where we post everything else, the post office, fire department, police department, library, like we'll put all of these things with the flyer once the flyers approved everywhere. Okay, uh, and the publication date for these will be no later than Wednesday uh, again. Perfect. Okay, so the event safety plan, item number two, we got that. Uh, Beach Boys Car Club, they're gonna bring 10 cars. The event sign and the median sign, Sarah, you've got those uh, in work. Yeah. Historical, uh, historical photo display. Um, is that all done? It yeah, for the most part, just needs to be. I have the files over. They have to print them on whatever size. I have to tell them. Okay. And the uh, car museum at at Duncan's uh, <laughs> car museum. I'm going to get him a copy of this map. Uh, but that's finished. 
um, contact uh, Washington Pilots Association. <clears throat> that was the one where um, you were going to send me a link. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, put that. I'll do that today. <clears throat> okay, advertisement, that's completed. Uh, I, I can't remember, what what's FAT PNW? Those were, the face, those were the Facebook pages and I did last, meeting i was waiting to get approved to join i'm approved to join now i'm waiting for you to approve the flyer for me to post the flyer okay speaking of which let's get on to that now and take a look at this uh, flyer um let's see ocean shores airport development offer it's relatively the highly anticipated city of ocean shores 2024 airport appreciation day saturday august 24th 10 to 4. So the things from the last meeting is that you guys specifically wanted Ocean Shores added to the title so that it was the city of Ocean Shores um, Airport Appreciation Day, add the time, add the RC flyers, add the cl classic cars. Yeah. Okay, so we got model airplanes with classic cars. Um we don't have anything about skydivers. Nope. Can't put them in yet, I guess. I wouldn't mention helicopters. Yet and so we do have time if if we have that cutoff date, and that's kind of why I was going down that path is like one thing's waiting for the next. If we have that cutoff date of Wednesday, whatever's going to be will be. So if they confirm and are coming, we can just simply add it. Yeah, on. a reminder that I'm scheduled to be on the radio tomorrow at 8.40 a.m. on AXRO. Do you want me to mention the skydivers or no? <clears throat> Jerry, can you give him a call today and get an answer, yes or no? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, there's no one there until Friday. It might be worth <laughs> just mentioning that, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, there's a there's a there's a there's a potential for an opportunity for the skydivers. Name with the live flight. It's weather weather and other schedules dependent. Some flim flam language. Oh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll uh, get an email out today. She's been responding uh, uh, periodically to emails. Uh, initially, the first time I talked to her, it sounded like yeah, they they'd love to come, and uh, but now I just uh, I haven't been able to pin down a. Uh, a confirmation from there from her yet okay if the skydivers do show up where's uh where's their landing area their landing area oh the, the parachutists themselves yeah um i wonder i might suggest um north of the wayside Okay. I'm sorry. I got that backwards. South, South of the wind zone. All right. Well, it's up to them. Yeah, but that's big open grass. Yeah. You know, they're not going to want to land on a hard surface. Close enough that we can we can see them. See. Yeah. All right. So you'll have an answer tomorrow, Jerry. I will put an email out. If I don't hear anything back, I will. Uh, well, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, so I will make a call. And Ron, when are you going on the radio? Tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Well, just you're just gonna have to put in some meeting words there and just say, you know, yeah. likely they'll show up, but it's weather dependent. <laughs> yeah. You know, and up and don't come, I could always say, we never can trust people from Toledo anyway. So. Um, now, the NOTAM. 
I still owe you drafts. Yeah. Um, have you done it before? Uh, no, but I just got the paperwork yesterday in my email um, because we didn't even have somebody authorized to do them. So, where did you get the where did you get the the form from? Um, hold on, I'll tell you. Was it, was it our contract for Century West or the FAA? Well, you certainly can get the submission things from the FAA. I mean, they they are the Northern people. Yeah. Yeah, I did call the um, Seattle Flight Standards District Office. <clears throat> To answer the question of when do you have to put out a note time, I answered Mike in an email. I did a little bit of digging. And it seems kind of vague. You know, I couldn't, um, there was, I, I could find no publication that actually pinned it down. The only thing that I could find was there was two big PDFs. One was for pilots, the other one was for airports regarding no times. And the one for airports, um, the only reference it said was that um, uh, for those communications where there isn't really any other method of getting the information out, uh, anything that's important for essential personnel regarding the airport environs, has safety hazards, anything like that, is really kind of kind of squishy. So. Um, for things like um, like Mike was asking, fire trucks in the parking apron, no, you don't need a, a, a no time for that. But for skydiving, yeah, you definitely need a no time for that. Uh, and um, uh, the for, RC flyers, for the RC flyers, specific windows. So we're going to have to have two no times, one for the, um, the RC flyers and the other one for the... Uh, Skydivers. The, I'm trying to dig back my memory. I'm trying to remember it's one week or two weeks out. They have to issue notams, or they like you to issue notams or whatever. But if it's two weeks out, it would mean, well, tomorrow, because Saturday's not a working day, obviously. And there is no reason why, if, you know, we can't. You should have known and say, hey, skydiving from seven to and uh, ready to control our flight from this time to this time. The motor goes out. Uh, if it ends up the skydivers don't come, oh well, no big deal. Yeah. You know, the motor will have been out there. They don't use it. And you don't know. Yeah, because, you know, notams like that, uh, if, it's, if it's an airfield shut down, um, Sarah, when you got that form uh, from those people, do they expect you to actually write out all that gobbledygook? I mean, there are hundreds of acronyms. Or, or do you write it out in plain English and they're the ones who condense it into a notem? Yes. I can, I can write out what we're doing and then they will issue whatever language you guys speak. Yeah, yeah, because the, the NOTAM language, I mean, every time I read a NOTAM, you know, I, I got to go back to the acronym dictionary to, to try to puzzle out what the heck it is. You say, you know, Ocean Shores Airport will be closed from whatever the time was we arrived at for the skydivers. Yeah. Since it is. And, you know, it feels closed, guys. Uh, and then for the RC flyers, we don't have to have the field closed, but it should be an advisory. That yeah, that'll be a caution. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you can just write that out during their times they're going to be and send that in. So I would think, Sarah, if you just send an, an email or, you know, in their form there, it's probably a text box. Uh, just write out everything we just discussed and then, then you know, If you would like one of us to come and sit down with you and go through it. 
on this one for the first time. One of us would be happy to. Is it worth mentioning specifically where the parachutists will land and the RCs will be flying so that there, the FAA doesn't push back to waste time to say, will it be clear of the tech, you know, actives? Will it be blah, blah, blah? Or does that matter if it's totally shut down? Uh, well, if it's totally shut down, it won't matter then. And, and it's well within, as the airport always, typically, I'd say, uh, authority to shut down the airport. <laughs> Um, Usually yeah. for uh, skydivers, they give something like a five mile radius around the uh, around the field. And yeah, the FAA will figure that out. Yeah, yeah, that's their problem, uh, Sarah. And uh, again, if you want one of us to come and sit down with you, I love this forum with you for the first time. More than happy to, sir. One of us more than happy. Okay, thank you. I'll try and get um, it figured out by tomorrow, and then let you know. Okay. And, you know, if you need some assistance, uh, well, we can be available at 5.30 tomorrow. What about 5.30 tomorrow? you would be available to help you fill it out. Oh, okay. Just kidding. 5.30 is too late. You'll be at home. Oh. Yeah, I work a lot of hours, so there's a good chance I'm here then. Yeah, you do work a lot of hours. Uh, okay, uh, are we ready to move on, Sarah? Uh, yeah. Okay, item 13, Ham Radio Club. That one's done. They're going to show? They're confirmed. All right, uh, North Beach Pause. I still, last meeting, I was going to try reaching out to them again, and I have not received a response. Okay. Uh, concessions, Ron, uh, that, that's all squared away? Yeah, it's 15 and uh, item 26, food trucks. Uh, the Hot Mamas is committed. Okay. The VFW has... Uh, they're going to back out because we're having commercial trucks in there. That's they're, they're what I was say, about to say. There's no sense us having a hot dog stand if we're having commercial food trucks there. Yes. So, uh, same is out of the loop. All right, but uh, Hot Mamas is going to be there. <coughs> and they, they needed to set up next to the pilot's lounge so they can plug in. Yeah, you have the, that's on the site map. Yeah. And also, I called uh, the Grizzly Den and Poquium. They are committed to having their food truck there. Oh, oh excellent. That was the reason the DSW wouldn't want to bother it. Yeah, I talked to Jim at the VFW yesterday. They said they don't want to compete with the commercial vendors. Okay. Moving on. Uh, police and fire. Okay, we've got that squared away. EAA participation. Um, I'm going to call um, John Mortensen again, just to remind him. See if he can bring a Sitabra that can cover this. And Jerry, you got a hold of the uh, EAA in, um, was it Chehalis? I have contacted uh, several chapters. Uh, I got a confirmation that the, uh, uh, the, the Kent chapter is putting our invitation in their newsletter, which is coming out uh, soon. And and I've been just, you know, verbally uh, spreading the word as I talk to people. Okay. <clears throat> well, I see flyers, they're done. Life flight and air with airlift Northwest. Um, so, Mike, you should be able to get to... Yeah, start. pending. Yeah, just pending the final. Yeah, I'll get the final map out. To, uh, I'll try and do it today, more like... Yeah, and then pending their final decision based on... Yeah. Do you feel like both those entities are coming or just one? Or... Uh, I've invited them both. And they both gave me the same response. They'd love to, but they're they are um, they each have other PR events. So depending on the timeline of our schedule, which I couldn't tell them then, they'll see if they have a window there or not. If not, I will still at least get the pamphlets I want. I don't think you hear when I said this initially. That one of my primary uh, goals was to have the pamphlets available for to be handing out to people that allows them to sign up for their insurance for flight insurance. And those at the 
And then I'll just, and I'll, and I'll take care of that if they can't come. They can be at the fire department command table. Yeah, which was not going to be the table, but I'll, I'll figure a way to give them out. The virtual table. <laughs> the virtual command table. Okay, pamphlet creation. Uh, Sarah, you should have that one squared away in the next couple of days. By Wednesday, uh, our cutoff Wednesday, and then we can, we've got a week and a half to get them distributed. Food trucks, talk about those. Handheld radios, item 27. Uh, talked about those. Jerry, you're going to bring yours. Uh, yeah. Safety, safety vests. Now, I've got Scott Anderson down here for safety vests, but we've got the... What was that? Uh, a doc? Uh, no, not a doc. Avert. Um, but I think uh, Scott was going to supply them to you guys. We've got, well, I mean, city has safety vests, right? Yeah. Okay, so. We just need a dozen. Yeah. Not even, but. What color are they? Orange. Okay, so we'll all be orange then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, honey buckets, are they, are they coming? Yep, they'll be delivered on the third, the twenty third, so that Friday. When are they going to set them up? Is that on the map? No, it isn't. But uh, it's a good point. Maybe it should be. Put them next to the helicopter LZ so they blow over. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, hmm. How about overflow parking? Uh, no, just uh, what you see where the pilot's lounge is. Yeah, we put them in between the pilot's lounge and the fence. Good idea. That's a good spot. <clears throat> Whoever came up with that name for him is a dream. Okay. <clears throat> And traffic cones have already been delivered. They're in the class lounge. Uh, yeah. Um, Scott's gonna have those from Public Works, and they're gonna be delivered the morning of. Okay. All right. Now I just want to make sure that I don't have any items hanging on from uh, a couple of meetings ago. Yeah, I don't know the items. Oh. How many radio interviews are you doing, uh, Ron? Just tomorrow. Just tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Is there a way to get one, get something in closer, like on the 23rd? I can try and delay the one tomorrow until the 23rd. Uh, I don't know. You're out of town 23rd, aren't you? No, I'm out of town. Uh, no, I mean, keep tomorrow going. Oh, yeah. um, how about getting, well, PSAs maybe done on the 23rd and, and again on the 24th, several of them. They should have gone out on our local volunteer station. I uh, talked to uh, Dave Bunch about that. I can talk to the radio station about PSAs. Yeah, just out of curiosity. What about signage on the on the library electronic sign for a day or two? We can ask Keitha. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I know that uh, I, if I missed it, I'm sorry, Ron. I know that um, KOSW has been saying something about Airport Appreciation Day nonstop since we put the event out. Oh, good. I don't know if that's what he was talking about. That's the PSAs that I know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so Sarah, can we add item number 31, which would be a uh, library sign? Because, you know, that there's a lot of traffic that goes by there. It'd be great advertising. And you put it up on the fire department sign for that matter, too. Nobody knows how to use that stupid thing. Come on. It's such an antiquated system. It's incredibly ineffective. But on the convention center sign. Oh. That's a good one. Ace Hardware has a sign. I'll talk to them off soon. Well, that's a good idea, too. Yeah. Big, colorful lightning sign. 
Sir, who would talk to the who would talk to the convention center? Um, I can ask George. Okay, that'd probably be a good sign to have to also. Do I have? Okay, so the convention center, Sarah, you're going to talk to uh, somebody about that? Yeah, I'll contact George. Okay, you want me to get a hold of Keitha? Sure, if you want to. Okay. Yeah, I'll just hold her water, please. I would suggest you don't. She'd be happy to. Yeah. Okay, anything else? Besides figuring out what our next meeting is going to be, <clears throat> seeing as how time is getting short. So, running back through the actions here, uh, Jerry, you're going to find out tomorrow uh, on the skydiving, definitely, yes or no. Yeah. yeah. And Sarah, you're going to put in the notams in plain English. And if the skydivers don't show, if uh, you know, if we're all fogged in, well, at least the no tens are there. <clears throat> um, Mike, you're going to get a hold of the Avert people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> already, already initiated that before I came here. I think. That about wraps it up. I'm going to send you a link for the Washington Pilots Association, Sarah. And I will have the map finalized by tomorrow. I'll send everybody a copy. Along with the updated safety plan with the uh, communications information on it. So next meeting, how about since time is getting very short, how about next Wednesday? I will be gone out of the country. Yeah, let me check the library because they have quite a few meetings next Wednesday. Uh, we could meet in the, at the fire department small conference room if the large training room is not available. But if it is, we could use that. I have to make it available for the public, just an FYI. Oh, we, we also have a Peloton. But again, if That's we're recording a meeting here, we can't record a meeting there. How about the Elks? <laughs> How about the Elks at four o'clock? <laughs> Hold on. Public access, certainly. How about Thursday the 15th? That's, um, was that a week from today? Uh, yeah. We could do it at noon. The 15th. I'm good. Works for me. <laughs> What time did you say, Sarah? Noon? Yeah. I'm saying noon. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it works for me. <clears throat> okay. Any other items of business? And you can be back from your trip by then? No, I'm gone, I'm gone starting next Monday through the 31st of August. Where are you going? Yeah, Eastern Canada. That's not a country. Cruise. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, motion to dismiss. I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You want a Viking? Is that a Viking cruise? Viking River cruise?